two young women, Marie 1 and Marie 2, observing that the world is spoilt and unworthy, decide on becoming spoilt themselves as an act of defiance, leading to them duping older men for a free meal, feasting excessively on incredibly expensive meals, performing pranks and committing comedic actions of chaos. This is Vera Hitalova's Daisies, a classic of Czech surrealist comedy, and often considered an influential contribution to feminist cinema. Daisies is a film that caused controversy back in 1966, managing to provoke the Czechoslovakian government so much that the film had been banned and Vera Hitalova was banned from filmmaking. Elaborating on this, Nicholas Rapold had written for the New York Times that full of colourful experiments, dazzling collage effects and surrealist antics, two dangerously bored young women have anarchic fun in a series of loosely connected episodes. This was apparently too much for the communist government. One petition from a member of the country's National Assembly read, we ask these cultural workers, how long will they poison the life of working people? Daisies was banned from theatres and export. Amid the flux of 1960s Czechoslovakia, their free-spirited activity was open to unsettling interpretations. Do their games represent the dangers of idleness and ideological shapelessness? Or do the women personify a punk-like liberation? Daisies is not a straightforward film with a linear narrative, but more along the lines of episodic vignettes and visual ideas led by two young provocative women. From the clothing choices which were likely deemed as too risque for a conservative society, and the antics in which two young women mislead older men from their own games, Daisies is rebellious in nature, challenging the conventions of what was expected of young women in their behaviour and appearance. The duo express joyous pranks, tiredness with phallic objects, slicing sausages with scissors and cutting eggs into slices, mocking male genitalia and rejecting the powers of men. This feminist approach to daisies isn't far-fetched when considering Vera Hitalova's own experiences as a filmmaker. Writing for Little White Lies, Christina Newland stated that Hitalova, often considered a key part of the Czech New Wave, grew up under strict Soviet rule in Czechoslovakia and was raised as a Catholic. This gave her an exhaustive education in the layers of power and patriarchy. She worked various jobs before she forced her way into the Prague Film School, becoming the only female student there. Vera Hitalova likely had to work twice as hard to make her way through filmmaking, competing against such a male-driven industry and education. Daisies encapsulates the frustration of women under such patriarchal instances, presenting a pre-punk rock rejection and ethos of what men want and everything they established. When Marie 1 and Marie 2 want to commit a certain action. That action is a rejection of the rules set in place by men. When two dancing performers wish to perform for an audience, the duo of Marie slips stage them. When men wish to take one of the young women on a date, the other invades the space and makes him pay for her too. When the man begs for the romantic affections of one of the young women, the other two playfully mock him, his unawareness keeping their playful prank running. When considering Hita Lover's experience as the only female student at the Prague Film School, it's understandable how an early film of hers, such as Daisy's, would capture the frustrations of living in such a male-dominated society, and how the aspect of complete rejection to become spoilt like a spoilt world would be appealing. It's feminist counterculture through and through. When the Czechoslovakian censors banned Daisy's, they only proved Hitlover's point that the world is patriarchal completely right. Daisy's, despite releasing back in 1966, still proves to be an effectively modern piece of cinema, its sense of style, its encouragement of female liberation, its absurdist sense of humour which teases with the possibilities of cinematic form, feeling not unlike an Edward Lear poem, nonsensical and yet profound. Christina Newland, in the same article for Little White Lies, elaborates on this, writing that the sartorial elements of the film are strikingly contemporary. Tiny baby doll dresses, flower crowns and thick black eyeliner. The overt girlishness would have seemed strange and slatternly in 60s Czechoslovakia. Even the characters' names offer a hint at the archetypal dismissal with which women are treated. Marie 1 and Marie 2 are viewed as interchangeable playthings by the older men they date and annoy. Hitilova understands the feminine decorum expected of women in Czech society, and she undermines it at every turn. The thick eyeliner cat eyes, the hipster dresses, the hippie crown of literal daisies. This is a style that is still present today, reflective of summer and spring, outgoing
ongoing extroversion and fun at music festivals like a universal style for youthful liberation and freedom. Vera Hitalova possibly unknowingly carved a sense of style that is incredibly contemporary, that it is as recognisable today as it was back in 1966. When Christina Newland suggested that Hitalova understood the feminine decorum expected of women, undermining it at every turn, this is highly apparent throughout Daisies. The young women's refusal to give coherent responses and answers, the rejection of romantic advances by ditching the men they date on departing trains, the dismissal of restrictive clothing, literally cutting away at lingerie until the two begin snipping off limbs, prancing around, cut into millions of pieces like scrap paper. Daisies embraces absolute chaos and makes a mockery of traditional values and good taste in such a way that it's impossible not to be swept up in the film's absurdist sense of humour. It aims to be distasteful to traditional values and yet Daisies is effortlessly funny. There's liberation and power to be found in humour, to undermine the overly serious and to embrace humour, to make others laugh enough to make viewers connect and engage with the ideas on screen. Daisies uses humour and a rejection of patriarchy in an intermingling dance of counterculture. With every laugh we seem closer to agreeing with what Daisies is suggesting, to follow convention, to be timid, quiet, shy, to be what conservative society considers traditionally good. It just outright sucks. Therefore, when discussing Daisies, how it rejects patriarchal traditions and embraces the liberation of young women via chaos and humour, Daisies makes feminism entertaining and effortlessly agreeable. In conclusion, Vera Hitalova's Daisies is an influential contribution from the Czech New Wave into feminist cinema. It plays with the cinematic form, using nonsensical dialogue and fascinating editing techniques to provide abstract punchlines and an experimental approach to style, and yet Daisies often feels very contemporary and ahead of its time. With the literal sense of style from its two young leads, Hita Lothar's experience in a male-dominated industry also serves as an inspiration with Daisies, as Hita Lothar often rejected the patriarchal expectations directed at her as a woman and as a filmmaker, something which the young protagonists of Daisies spend the entire film doing. Despite its initial controversy on release, Daisies having been banned from theatres and export in Czechoslovakia, it endures today as a chaotic delight, a humorous rejection of sexist expectations placed upon many women, earning its status as an important piece of feminist cinema.